The story of Laura Secord is covered in ninth grade history classes across Canada. What can you tell me about her? Okay, I'll get you started. In the War of 1812, Laura Secord walked 20 miles out of American territory to warn the British forces in Canada of an impending American attack. Oh yeah, that was the one who came up here and started ratting on the Yankees, right? I'd say A-Rod had it coming. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was Emily Carr who tattled on the Yankees. Laura Secord's the one who painted all the totem poles, right? Okay, is that the one that makes the chocolates? Oh, that's a Hudson Bay company, right? Both sons of bitches sent a hamsters to the kid who likes the leaves, right? That was eaten. Laura Secord. She was in the American Revolution, right? That's a motorcycle show, right? American Restitution. I got a cousin named Laura. In the, the American Revolution. That's when the Six Nations fought with the British, right? I don't know the Six Nations, but I know the Tri-Cities, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo. The uh, Iroquois are Six Nation, though, right? Their lacrosse team was tough as butt. I seen it on the YouTube. Ah, uh, that's pronounced Iraq Y. Right? Iroquois. Iraquias or plural Iraquiases. What did you call me? Iraqi? That was about the same time that uh, George Vancouver. See, now that name sounds made up to me. Discovered the, uh, the Rocky Mountains. George Vancouver? He didn't get credit for the Rockies because George Coors comes down, snaps a photo of it, puts it on a beer can, and the Americans think it's theirs, right? Yeah, Coors Light, the CL Smooth. That's just classic George Anheuser Busch right there. George Bush discovered the coal certified can, though, right? No, 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 no. Well, of course he did. I mean, that's why all the Americans love him. What? And uh, it was actually Helen Keller that made all the nice ice creams and chocolates. Yep, that's what it was. I'm like 99, like 100% sure. Pretty sure that's what happened. 